Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day, folks. Uh, today on the bench, I'd like to tie you up my olive enticer leech. Uh, this is on the jig hook to be riding inverted style. It's a great fly pattern. I just want to share the color with you. I know I've done the black. In case you missed that, you can catch this. But this is another good color combination that you'll definitely want to try. Let's go over the materials we need to tie the fly. These are the Togans. Six degree jig hooks, they're size eight. And on the bead, I'm going to be using a three or five thirty second copper bead, tungsten slotted bead. The um, tail material, I'm going to be using some olive dun uh, marabou, and I want the blood quills on this nice leech type tail. The thread, I'm going to be using some 6 aught Olive Dunn thread. I'm going to be using some soft copper wire, size small or brassy. You can use that size. I like to use heavier wire on this fly. Um, the body, I'm going to be using, some, this is a copper magnum flashaboo, the holographic flashaboo. And the body material, which is, is really the secret weapon here, is UV2 Celex. And olive brown has got some really nice color combinations. The UV2 means there's two um, different uh, UV spectrums in this. And the reason we're using these UV materials, I'll just grab my UV light for a second, turn off my light, and you'll see a lot of this bright materials come out. Just another little fish catcher right here. It's a little more subtle. Uh, it doesn't have the fluorescent bead on it. I'm just using the copper bead. Um, it's, a, it's a great coloration though. I really do like copper and olive. There's so many patterns have been productive over the years. I'm going to dress the shank of my hook. I'll come in here with uh, about 10 inches of copper wire. Lash along this top, right to the bend. Then we'll uh, come in with some of this marabou blood quill. And I want this nice long plumage. I don't want it too thick. A tail. A little longer on the body than the black one I did. Some might tie a little thicker and some might tie a little thinner, but it's typically the way I like them here. I'm going to do a long thin leech. Leeches get, a lot of times they get way too thick to resemble a leech, in my opinion, too much bulk. So we're going to go there. We'll bring in two strands of my holographic Magnum Plashaboo. I hang that hank up there too. It's easier to strip off. If you've seen it hanging over there off my other vise, I just leave that at the end. And that works really good. I don't have such a mess to deal with. So I've got two uh, strands. What I do is kind of lay them side by side here and I come backwards to the back. I always do my bodies front to rear and rear to front. You get a nice flat even body from mylar bodies or anything like that if you're doing those don't just go the one way go front and then backwards and forwards put a little half hitch on there then i'll just hand over hand this i could use my rotary to spin it back we'll just hand over hand this with the copper wire all the way forward and then i'll just Another half hitch in here. I'm going to use my rotary vise to make my um, dubbing loop. I can just spin it on a wire brush, but uh, you can use a dubbing loop here. 
That's the way I do it. And you can also get those dubbing uh, blocks. But less is more when you're coming on with this material. That's very little. I'm just going to come in. And if I got too much, I can always tie it off. We'll lay it in there and then I'll just get it basically a loose, not super tight, but just a snug wire brush done there. And then I brush it out a good stiff brush. And then you see you got a nice thin wire. It's just basically coated. Then I'll bring my wire back a little ways here so I could accommodate a few turns on my material. One turn there, I have that pulled over. Now you see <clears throat> the effect we're getting. And I've got a little more than I want on. I just tie that off. And I can pull this material out if I want to save it. <clears throat> or discard it, whatever. Not too much waste there. And get some real good turns in there, a good head that we want to make sure we got some head cement or resin or something on that. Cut that off. And I'll come back with my brush. Cover, brush it all back. It's a it's a great little pattern or big pattern I should say. It resembles the larger leech, not the micro leeches, but um, a lot of these big fish are going to be. Hungry, they'll chase this this fly a lot. It's got the nice underbody. It'll make a great fly, great color combination. So we thank you again for checking us out here on Sport Fishing on the Fly. If you're not a member, make sure you get signed up. A lot of good uh, benefits for members. And uh, thanks again. We'll bring you another fly here real soon. Have a great day.